um, with you. Cool. And, and just um, kind of go over a few things. I uh, want to continue to practice this script. Okay. Deal. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you one issue that I'm running into. Okay. And it's something that I'm trying to figure out how to uh, handle it, uh, these situations better. But it's whenever the homeowner or the seller will try and take or does take um, control of the conversation and leads it off of off path, if you will. Yeah, don't let them. Give me an example. Well, um, I mean, you know, there's just all sorts of – the little questions aren't the big deal. It's whenever they – I think what happens is when, when the homeowner wants to start getting creative on their own end as well, you okay. know, um, and they want to start coming up with, well, what if we – you know, what if we did, could we do this? What about that? Have you ever done this? You know, and it's without being rude and cutting them off and saying, look, I, I'm not interested in that. Uh, or maybe that's the way to go. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, really wacky off the wall kind of shit though. Yeah. Maybe like just some real, uh, uh, you know, maybe like creative type of ideas, investment ideas or, whatever it may be, but they're almost thinking in the, in the investor shoes at that point, yeah. rather than a seller, if you will. Yeah. Um, you just have to find a way. I, I can visualize what you're talking about because I've had the same experience. Okay. So you're not alone. And uh, sometimes they come off kind of flaky. Uh, the homeowner does when they're starting to do that. And I don't know if they are, I don't know if that's a, Maybe, maybe that's an inappropriate label to give them, <laughs> but right. I have had that thought before. And sometimes you are dealing with somebody who's got a screw loose a little bit. Uh, and other times uh, you just need to regain control of the conversation by saying, okay, well, uh, what I would like to do is get your email address and send you an offer for a lease option or a lease purchase because that's what I think I can do on this one. Does that sound like something that will work for you? Probably not. Just blurt it out. Okay. Um, because, you know, you don't want to sit on the phone for 30 minutes listening to a bunch of harebrained ideas uh, yeah. that nobody's ever going to do. Uh, yeah. And that's what <laughs> I've run into now a few times. And it's, um, you know, it's for me, I, I don't like to be rude to people, obviously. And that's not my objective here, but I do like to stay on topic and I don't want to waste my time right. on the phone call. Right, exactly. You want to you want to maintain control of the conversation. It sounds like it was going good and you had good rapport with these people. Uh, you know, they liked you. Um, seems like they trusted you at least a little bit. Uh, seems like they had a motivation. So where did things end up? Well, on a couple of them, it was just more so like one of them, uh, the guy wanted too much for the property and he, he wasn't really, he acted real motivated at first, but then he kind of backed off as the conversation went on. Um, and then on another one, it was just this guy and, and he had a few properties, but, uh, and again, he sounded really motivated at first. He was all gung ho for, yeah, what do you, you know, what do you got? And, um, then he started coming up with these other just off the wall creative ideas. And I think if I was a more um, seasoned investor, if you will, yeah. I could probably take some of these conversations and spin yeah. them off and, and go a different route and still find some sort of deal. I don't know. But right now yeah. I just want to stay focused on the lease option. Right. You know? Yeah. And, and I think that's an okay strategy. Um, the other strategies that you would be referring to would be probably like land contract or contract for deed. Yeah. Um, owner financing. That's what that is. Uh, it might, you might be thinking uh, subject to, uh, you know, which would be taking the deed and, and, and taking on their mortgage, you know, basically the responsibility of maintaining it. Right. Um, and, and, but you know, all of those strategies are all, so alike that you can almost in many cases choose which one you want to do and they all kind of have the end result of the same um so 
I wouldn't worry too much about that. I wouldn't feel like you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Either the, either the homeowner prospect is closable or they're not closable. And you know they're closable when you've established that motivation level and you're in your mind of one through 10 and you kind of have a, a sense of what you should be offering them, whether that's a cash offer because it's a junker house or whether that's a lease option because it's a creative house. If those are the tools in your bag, then you, you, you want to determine, you know, what motivation level they are and you want to determine which one of those you're going to offer during the conversation. And then before you get off the call, whether they've tried to derail it or whether they haven't, whatever happens, you say, okay, I would like to give you, what if I were able to give you what you're asking today? Would you be willing to rent the property to me for two or three years before I buy it or probably not? Yes. Okay. What's your email address? I'll send you my written offer. Maybe. Okay. Why maybe? What is it that feels uncomfortable for you? Get them to tell you, then they're going to throw some shit at you. All right. And then you say, you know, basically you try to solve the problem as quickly as possible. And you, you answer, you ask them the question again. Okay. Now does, do you feel more comfortable? Can we go ahead and move forward now? So you, you always come back to that kind of closing question. Okay. Does that make sense what I'm saying so far? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, In other you know, words, try and, try and end the conversation with a, a yes or a maybe or a no. Just tr try and get that. Yes. Yes. That I mean, yeah, I mean, a yes or a no, you know? Right. Um, I don't like maybes because that's a waste of my time. Um, I don't right. like, I think I'll think about it or any of that other stuff either, or I'll talk to my wife or, or whatever. Um, I, I don't like any of those. I want a yes or a no. That's really what I'm going for. And I'm, I'm quite all right with a no. And in fact, I've told them in the agenda stage of the conversation that I'm okay with a no. I right. just want to get to a no. Okay. And if the conversation gets so wild and wacky, that I don't know if this is going where this is headed. I will interrupt the conversation and say, Hey, listen, I would like to give you full price for your home. If you would be willing to rent it to me for two to three years before I buy it, is that something that would work for you? I'll send you the contract today or probably not like, which is it? Yes or no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, always, always go for the juggler on this. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's nothing wrong with trying to solve their problem and trying to solve your problem at the same time. And if it's a yes, yes, great, great work on it. If it's a no, then get off the phone and call the next guy. Okay. If it's anything other than a yes or a no, chances are it will end with a L Y or a Y the word okay maybe possibly probably <laughs> i got you okay any of this kind of shit they're throwing at you those are bullshit stall tactics okay you want to go ahead possibly okay that will possibly okay you ask the question Oh, hey, I interrupted you, Mr. Home. Hey, Mr. Homeowner, I'm sorry to, to rush you, but I would like to go ahead and make you an offer. I would like to give you full price, what you're asking, um, full market value for the house, whatever you want to say, full market price. And, and as long as you'd be willing to rent it to me for two or three years before I buy, is that something that would be comfortable for you or probably not? Okay. okay. Now, I just used an LY word, probably not. <laughs> okay. I'm throwing it at them. Now they're either going to say yes, or they're going to say no, or they're going to say maybe, or probably, or possibly, or some other L Y word. And then I'm just, that's a, that's a clue to me. Okay. I don't stop here. That's not a no. This is yeah. a wishy washy word. Okay. Possibly. What is it that, what is it that's uncertain, sir? Maybe. Okay, what needs to happen in order for you and me to do business today? Okay. See what I'm saying? Uh, probably, 
okay, well, what are the conditions? What things do I need to do to make you feel comfortable so we can move forward today? Okay. See, you want to dig a little deeper. And once right. you get all of that stuff out, what do you do again? You go right back <laughs> to the, okay, so if I'm able to do this and that, I, are you going to give me your email address so I can send you my written offer and can we do business today? You see, I'm just getting right back to the question. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Every time I circle right around. Okay. They, can't, they cannot escape because yeah. I will keep bringing it right back around to the same question. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I think that'll be helpful for me. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, I try and follow the, the uh, seller notes the best that I can, the structure of it, you know, at least. Um, yeah. But there's always these guys that just off the wall shit, man. It's like, holy cow. I don't yeah. know if I'm just scooping up a bunch of yeah. bad eggs or <laughs> what's going Let, on. Let's, let's practice role playing and, and I'll be you and you be one of the bad guys. Okay. Okay. Let me show you. Okay. Interrupt me. Try to derail me. Try to get me off. It, get me into the closing stage while I'm in the middle of the agenda. I don't care what you do. Throw your wildest shit at me, what you've heard, what you've experienced, what you think you may experience. Let me see how I do. Let's go. Action. All right. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Yes. This is, uh, this is Justin. I'm, I'm calling about a property at 123 Apple Cart Way. I saw it on, uh, on Zillow, and uh, it was pretty interesting to me. I'm a real estate investor, and I'm looking to get another investment property. So I, I thought I'd call you about this one and uh, ask you a few questions. You could ask me a few questions. And if it's not a good fit for you or me, either one, it's okay, really, if you want to tell me no. I'm kind of in a hurry, and and, and you don't have to worry about hurting my feelings. Is, is that okay? If it doesn't work, just, just say no. Is yeah, that cool? that's fine. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, well, I, like I said, I've been looking at it on, fa on uh, not Facebook, but on the Zillow, I believe it is. And um, it, it's pretty interesting looking. Uh, how, how long have you lived there? Uh, I haven't lived there, actually. I, uh, yeah, I, I bought the house and um, uh, just got done fixing it up and redid all the interior and uh, did some landscaping to it, put a new roof on it. So put quite right. a bit of, of money into it. Are you a fix and flipper? Uh, no, I just did this one as a side project. Oh, okay. So you just kind of, you're, you're, uh, you're kind of a handy man and you wanted to pick up, pick, you kind of did a, a fix and flip is what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. I see. So, um, you, you've got it all wrapped up and you're, you're ready to sell. It's all ready to go. It's pretty, it's every, it's looking good. Oh yeah. It looks good. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm not sure, um, the route that I want to take yet, but, uh, you know, what do you got? What do you offer? Well, how long have you been, uh, trying to sell it, man? Oh, not very long. Oh, so, really? I, I bet yeah, you've had a whole bunch of people beating your door down trying to get in, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, it, it's, a, it's a wild market out here. It's almost like the Wild West. But, yeah, so um, it sounds to me, time out. It sounds to me like this guy's motivation is like a two or a three. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, by the way, back in the role play. Okay, okay, well, like I said, I'm a real estate investor, and I'm looking for a, uh, an investment property to get and uh, maybe even a buy and hold, something like that. Uh, and so what, what, are you, what are you asking for it, and what do you think it's worth? Are you asking what you think it's worth? Uh, yeah, I'd like to get out. You know, uh, I, like I said, I put a lot of money into the place. Um, I do want to get it off my hands. Um, I don't think I, you know, I don't want to be a landlord, and I don't want to rent it out. Um, and I don't have any need for it right now. But like I said, I, I would like to get a, a good payout on it with all the work and money that I put into the place to really yeah. fix it up. Okay, I understand. And uh, you got partners on this deal or is it just, just you? No, no, this was just me. Okay, excellent. Well, being an investor, okay, I'm, I'm probably not just, honestly, I, I'm not going to be able to pay you what you're asking for in cash. But, you know, I see the, I see the pictures. And it, it looks good and I'd, I'd like to, I'd, I'd like to buy it, be honest with you, but would you be willing to rent it to me? If I were giving you full price, what you're asking, could you rent it to me for a couple of years, 24 months before I, I buy it or, or probably not? Yeah, it's possible. Okay. Possibly. You see, that's what he's throwing at a L Y word at me. Possibly. <laughs> well, what would have to happen in order for that to take place? Well, 
Uh, I don't know what kind of, uh, you know, down payment or, or something like that. Could we work out up front? How do I know you're, uh, you know, the, the, the lease and everything's going to be held up. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Well, what do you, what kind of down payment do you need? Well, ideally I'd like to get, you know, at least, uh, 10%. Ooh, Ooh, spicy, spicy. It's going to be hard for me to make money doing that. Um, well, okay. Uh, and you wouldn't be willing to do anything less than, than 10%. Huh? No, it, it, so if I can't do 10%, this is pretty much over, right? Well, um, what, what could you do? Um, 1%. 1%. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to lease the place and then we'll have a purchase and, uh, or a purchase option or a purchase agreement, either one. And, uh, it'll be for the full asking price. I mean, I feel like I'm not trying to beat you up on price here, but uh, I can't I can't go in real deep with cash at the door and pay full price. Does that make sense? So, uh, is this something you could work with me, or probably not? Work with me on, or probably not? Yeah, I think I could. I, I think I could work with you on it. Okay, excellent. Well, here's what I'd love to do. Uh, let me get your email address, and I'll send you my written offer, and it'll be uh, you know something that we can jump off talking about and finalizing. Oh, uh, let's say maybe 8.30 tonight. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, cool. I'll call you about 8.30 and answer any questions, and, uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll talk it over. If, if everything seems comfortable at 8.30, uh, uh, what happens next? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. Well, I, I, I'm hoping you, you let me know that we're good to go and we can go ahead and do business. Like I said, I'm kind of in a hurry to do something, and I'd like to, I'd like to do something fast if we can. So is, is, is it eight thirty tonight? If, if you're comfortable with everything, can we, are we moving forward or, or not? Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay. Awesome, man. Great. All right. Well, I'll get this right over to you and I'll talk to you at eight thirty. Sounds great. Boom. What do you think, man? That was good on your end. I mean, that was really good. Um, you just you hung in there and, uh, kept it on topic the whole time. Shut up. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is Motion Real Estate.